Hey, it's Jared. One of my favorite features of the Apple Watch is with the cellular edition, you're able to make and receive calls and text messages from your Apple Watch if you don't have your iPhone near you. Now, this has been a feature that I have used since very early versions of the Apple Watch and have enjoyed being able to leave my phone behind and then just still be able to be connected through the Apple Watch. Uh, especially as apps and everything have become more distracting, I'm looking for opportunities to leave my phone behind, whether it's even just to go into a meeting, go uh, grab coffee with a friend, or perhaps just leave it behind and kind of fast from having my phone around. Uh, but still, as I am a business owner and a parent wanting to stay connected so that I could be available. In the last year or so, I've started to have issues with this service. And it's led me to very frustrating calls with tech support for Verizon. And uh, I'll go into this situation, but let me show you how this is supposed to work. You see, I have my iPhone right here. This is how it's supposed to work. If I turn off Bluetooth, which means my Apple Watch is now not Bluetooth connected to the iPhone. I should be able to call. So let's just go ahead and call the phone that my phone, so my Apple Watch and my phone should ring, but because Bluetooth is not connected, the nearby functionality here is not going to make a difference. So you can see I'm getting a call on both devices. If I take off and leave my iPhone behind, I can still make and receive calls to the number that is attached to my iPhone. Now, the way that this all works is that your cellular watch has its own line and it actually has its own phone number. But what they do at the carrier level, whether you're with Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or perhaps some other carrier, is they pair those numbers together. So the number that your Apple Watch has is more just a connection uh, point. It's not even a number that you would use. It's just like how if you get cellular service on an iPad, your iPad technically has a phone number, but it can't actually receive calls. So it's just there for the data connection. And that's essentially what happens on the back end with the cell carriers is that you now just have basically a data connection to your Apple Watch and some magic at the carriers is supposed to happen that when they can't reach, when somebody calls and they can't reach your phone, that it routes it to the Apple Watch. And that was the beauty of this feature, but it no longer works in that way. You see, my phone, my iPhone has to be on and it has to be connected to either Wi-Fi, cellular, or perhaps both in order for me to make and receive calls and receive text messages or even send them from my Apple Watch. So let me show you what happens. We're gonna go ahead and put the iPhone in airplane mode. So cellular is off, uh, Bluetooth is off also. You can see Bluetooth not connected. Wi-Fi is off and cellular is off as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and call that same number from my phone and I'll put it on speaker. So it's ringing, but nothing is happening. Like I'm not getting a call on the Apple Watch. I'm not getting a call on the iPhone, obviously, because the iPhone's in airplane mode. I'm not getting anything. So nothing is ringing and it will just ring until it goes to voicemail. Now, if I try to make a call from the Apple Watch, so let's go to the Apple Watch and try and call this line, call failed. That's immediately what I get is call failed and nothing works. So, and this is why I wanted this feature in the beginning, because if I was somewhere, my iPhone was out of range, maybe even my iPhone's battery went dead, I wanted to still be able to get calls on my Apple Watch, and it used to work that way. I can power off my iPhone, it could be completely dead, whatever, and I still would be able to make and receive calls on my Apple Watch. Something has changed in the last year or so, and I don't even think the cell carriers are aware of it. The cell carriers, I spent countless hours with tech support at Verizon, and none of them could understand why this didn't work. The furthest that they were able to get me is just reconnecting everything. We would completely wipe the Apple Watch and reconnect it. We would try even restoring the iPhone completely restoring that as well. I went through so many hoops and it still didn't 
work out for me. I still had problems. And so just the other day, I ended up switching to a whole nother carrier. I switched from Verizon to T-Mobile, thinking that maybe Verizon's the problem, their tech support can't figure it out, whatever the issue is, I switched carriers and I'm still having the same problem. So now if I go ahead and turn, let's just turn Wi-Fi back on and see what happens. Cellular is off. Bluetooth is off on the iPhone. So as you can see here, Wi-Fi is on, Bluetooth and cellular are off. Let's go ahead and make the call and see if it fails or if it actually rings. So it's calling and it's actually ringing now. So as long as my iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi, as you can see, it actually is working. Let's go ahead and hang up on that and let's try disconnecting Wi-Fi. So now we just have a cellular data connection only and there's no way that my iPhone is connecting with the Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and try making that call again and see what happens. See if the phone rings over here. Yes, it is. And so what it requires is that the iPhone has some sort of a connection. Now, obviously, in most situations, my iPhone is going to have charge. It's going to have some sort of connection, and it's not going to be a problem. But where this would be a problem is if my iPhone's battery went dead, but my Apple Watch still had a charge. If the iPhone's battery went dead, I wouldn't be able to do anything with my Apple Watch. All calls, all text messages would fail. That's actually worse than if these two devices weren't connected in the first place. If my Apple Watch just had its own number, some random number, and I could make and receive calls and text from that, it would actually be better for me just to have that than it would be for me to have this situation. Now, it's just fine if I leave my phone. So earlier today, I left my phone at home and I drove to go get some mail about 10, 11 miles away. And so I was not connected to anything. My phone was at home connected to Wi-Fi. And of course, there's cellular connection at my home. And I was clear across town and I was able to make and receive calls from the number that my iPhone has on my Apple Watch. Everything was working fine. So in a ideal situation, my phone has charge, it has connection, and my Apple Watch is able to work as advertised. But if my iPhone, for whatever reason, loses service, uh, maybe gets stolen and, and loses service, or they power it off, or reset the phone, or something, anything can happen in that situation, I'm unable to use my Apple Watch completely. It is essentially not good for calls or text messages, which I think is a big bummer and something happened along the way. So the reason that I'm making this video is because I want to know if you're experiencing the same issue. I have, this has been an issue with several Apple Watches and with my iPhone 16 Pro Max and also I'm remembering these issues with my iPhone 15 Pro Max as well last year. So I'm assuming it's not hardware related and the issue may not be carrier related either because the carriers, I switched carriers. I went from Verizon to T-Mobile and I'm still having the same issues. It's actually a little bit better on T-Mobile because with Verizon, I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't able to make any of this work unless both of the devices were close to each other and at least Wi-Fi or cellular was on. At least with T-Mobile, I can leave the phone and I can go clear across town or do whatever and use my Apple Watch as the service is advertised. So I'd love for you to test this. You might not even be aware that you have an issue if you don't from time to time leave your phone behind and use your Apple Watch uh, for calls or text messages when your phone is way out of range. So try this. Put your iPhone in airplane mode and have someone call your number that would be attached to your iPhone and come back to the comments and let me know what happens. Can you receive a call on your Apple Watch? If your iPhone is in airplane mode or powered off, can you make a call from your Apple Watch? Can you send a text message from your Apple Watch? Does it work? Or is it going to require your iPhone to be powered on and at least connected either to Wi-Fi or the cellular connection or both in order for this to work? I would love your insight because I haven't been able to get any sort of response 
nobody knows what's going on over at Verizon. Nobody knows what's going on over at T-Mobile. And I haven't been able to find anybody talking about this in any online forums or anything else. So I would appreciate you testing this and coming back to the comment section and letting me know what you find. Um, and then also when you do that, let me know what devices you have uh, and what carrier you're using as well, because I'm, I'm really just trying to figure out do I have like the most systemic problem possible with this? And it doesn't matter what carrier or what device I use, it's just not gonna work for me. Or is this an issue that maybe the cellular carriers created? Or it's an issue with newer iPhone and Apple Watch devices where Apple wants to make sure that you can't bypass using an iPhone. You have to have an iPhone involved in the routing of the data of the phone calls and the text message. Something has to be amiss and not how it used to be because you used to be able to power off your iPhone and make or receive calls on your Apple Watch like it didn't matter. So test it for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Share down in the comment section below. And if I find anything out, I will either make a new video or I'll post to my newsletter, which is linked down in the description. I have a Substack newsletter that I post to every now and then. And if you'd like to join that, it's free. Check out the link down in the description below. But that's it for me today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another one soon. Take care.